Hi everyone, it's been a while here. Welcome to my channel, my name is Fred. So today we're going to be looking at how to construct a parabola. Now as you know, the eccentricity of a parabola is always equal to one. All right, so two things to take note of is um, the, okay, three things to take note of is the directrix of a parabola, the focus, and the vertex of the parabola. The vertex is the highest uh, point on the parabola, okay? Just the point where the parabola makes uh, 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 a, a turn, a, a U-turn, you know, the peak of the parabola, that's the vertex. So, now basically you'll be given um, the distance of the focus from the directrix, all right? So the first thing you do is to what? Draw the directrix of the parabola. So this is our directrix, a straight line any length of your choice. So that's the directrix. Now, drop a perpendicular to the directrix, a perpendicular, so you can achieve that by using your set square. All right, so just align your set square, okay? At any point of your choice, any convenient point, align your set square like this, you could align it this way, you understand? Just ensure this part of the set square is aligning with what? The straight line, that's the directrix, and you draw your line. But because most times when you draw lines, this point here, okay, the, the, the edge of this set square, is curved and so you might not uh, get a line touching the directory so I, I like to instead of using this part as reference I love to use this part as reference so I just align my set square like this all right so ensure this part is aligning with the line and just draw a line and that is your directrix okay so good sorry that is um, the horizontal line to the directory this is your directrix and this is the horizontal line now you will always be given the focus from the directrix now, um, in this example, we're going to take the distance of the focus from the directrix to be five centimeters or 50 millimeters, okay? So what you do is you measure a distance of five centimeters from this point here. So let's call this point G, all right? The directrix. Now, this point G is the point where this horizontal line makes contact with what the directrix. So we're going to measure a distance of five um, centimeters from G, all right. So this is five centimeters, all right. So this is F, our focus, the distance. So you locate F. So let's write, um, let's indicate the, that point with an F, okay. So these are focus, these are directrix, all right. Now remember, every parabola has um, a vertex, all right. Now, to locate the vertex, all right, you have to bisect the point G and F. So the perpendicular bisector will give you what? The vertex. So you bisect, you, know, you already know how to bisect your line, so you needle on F, stretch uh, to a convenient radio, radius of your choice more than the, the line FG, okay? Draw an arc, sorry about that. Draw an arc on the top, draw an arc. The bottom you needle on G okay cut the arc you cut the arc all right so you connect both points and draw a line through all right a thin line okay so now this is the vertex of the parabola so let's call that vertex V all right I hope you are following so this is V Call this vertex V. All right, now, what you're going to do next is, so you're going to draw a line parallel to the vertex on F. You're going to draw a line here, all right, that is parallel to this vertex. All right, so you're going to definitely have to transfer the lines. So you transfer the, the vertex, okay? Transfer the vertex. You can use the ruler or a set square here. All right, transfer line to the point F and draw thin lines there. All right, so that's it. Now, what you're going to do next is, you're going to look for any other convenient points along the horizontal line, all right, to draw um, parallel lines, parallel lines to uh, the vertex, all right? So you're going to look for any convenient points. Now you can choose any convenient point of your choice, all right? But I am going to choose one centimeter apart, okay? The spacings apart, 
is going to be one centimeter. That's what that's my choice. You can choose 1.5, you can even use um, 0 0.5, you can use two centimeters as the case may be. Okay, so you choose any convenient um, distance seats of your choice. Okay, so I'm choosing one centimeter apart. So from F, I'm going to just choose like um, you can choose any number of uh, points. All right, so I'm going to choose like just four from F. One, two, three, and four. Uh, you can choose five, you can choose six, okay? Now remember, this is not the origin zero, so if I'm stopping at four, if this is my, if this is the fourth point, and uh, you're seeing five here, it doesn't uh, really translate into the fact that I have um, five divisions, no. So it's because I didn't what? start from the origin. So this is one, two, three, four. So those are the four points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this vertical line, this line you're seeing here, that is parallel to the vertex, to those points, okay? So let me call this point now, this is F, let me call it um, H, I, J, and K. So I'm going to transfer line to those points as well. So transfer vertical lines, uh, lines from the directory, or you can choose from this line or this one, any one. The same thing, okay? So you transfer to the point H, okay? You draw a thin line. Now, as you proceed, the lines will become longer because of the nature of the curve, all right? Drop lines there, drop lines here, and you drop here, okay? I want to add one more point, one more point, one centimeter apart, one centimeter apart, okay? So this one more, so let me call that L, okay? Now transfer lines to L. Always transfer your lines to L. Okay, so there I have it. Now the parabola is going to lie on uh, these lines you're seeing here, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve that. Okay. Okay, so now for me, the space between the vertex and uh, the focus is too much. So I would like to drop another line there. All right, now this will um, give me uh, more points, okay, to draw my parabola. Do you understand, okay? So you could actually choose any point of your choice, but I would just like to bisect between V and F, all right, to get another line. So I'll quickly do that. I will needle on F, all right, um, and bisect. VF, same radius, needle on V, cut, all right, and I'll drop this line, perpendicular bisector, the thin line, so that's it. So let's call this point E, all right, so this E, F, H, I didn't label this um, G because we already have G here, so F, H, I, J, K, L, all right. Okay, so what you do next is we are going to locate the points, okay, um, on these lines that will form the parabola. So how do we do that? Now, we already know the vertex of the parabola, this point here, okay, which is just a single dot, all right? Now, on these lines, these parallel lines you're seeing here, okay, we're going to be having uh, points on, at, on the top and at the bottom, okay, on the top and at the bottom, just like that, okay, until you... Um, the, the shape or the, 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 the locus of the parabola, okay, appear on these uh, lines. So how do you achieve that? Very, very simple. Now, you are going to be striking your ax from this point F. Do not miss this point F, all right? So now, to strike uh, an arc on line E, what do you do? You needle on G, needle on G, all right? Stretch to E, like this, all right? Now, with this radius, G, E. Now, needle on F. Don't needle on E, all right? You'll be wrong. So, needle on F. I will have to definitely extend this line because it's not long enough. Okay. All right. So, now, let me start, let me uh, explain that again. Now, you needle on G, stretch to E. So, because we are what? Cutting an arc on E. So this is GE. Now with this radius GE, you needle on F and cut the line E at the top and at the bottom. So we have 
a point here and we have a point here. All right? Now you stretch GF. All right? So this is GF. All right? So needle on F because F is the focus. So needle on F and cut line F at that point and at this point. So we have these two points here and this. Now needle on G and stretch to H. All right? Stretch to H. Okay, so you needle on G, stretch to H. Now you need, remember it is H. That is line H. So needle on F, please do not needle on H to cut H. No, you'll be wrong. Always needle and strike from F. So you strike line H at the top and at the bottom. So you can see it's not long enough, so I will extend it. All right? I will extend this line. Okay, good. So I have this point and this point of intersection. Let me extend other lines as well. All right? So now you stretch to from G to I. All right? Good. So this is G, I. Now needle on F and cut line I. Remember, do not needle on I. No, it is wrong. Needle on F, so you cut I, the top, and at the bottom. All right? So stretch G, J. All right? Hope you can see that clearly. Then you needle on F and cut line J. Please do not miss the line J. So you cut the top. Sorry about that. Cut the top. You cut the line on the bottom. So you continue like that for K and L. All right, so you should have something like this, okay, when you're done. Now, let me quickly state here. Now, it is possible for you to be given the distance. G is as this horizontal line, okay? You'll be given the distance, the, the dimension. You understand? It is very, very possible. Now, what it means is that um, these horizontal lines you're seeing here, the, sorry, these vertical lines that are parallel to this vertex, okay? This last one here is going to stop at the point S. Don't worry, it's very, very simple. Now, with the uh, distance of the focus given, which is F, you measure five like we did, all right? So this will now be what? F. Now, what you do next is um, do your normal, you bisect GF to get what? The vertex. Okay, so that's it. You get your vertex. Now, what you do next is between F and S, all right? You can choose to divide it into any um, required number of equal parts. So how do you do that? Just draw a line, okay, at an angle to the point F, a thin line, all right? Now, if I choose to divide this line into, let's say, five equal parts, all right? So you just step off five equal divisions here, all right? Say one, hope you can see that, two, three, four, and five, all right, connect the last number, this is one, two, three, four, five, so connect the last number, which is five, to S, all right, then transfer the rest. Transfer the line 5S to other points like this. Okay, so these are the required points you're looking for. So what you do next is you just transfer vertical lines from the directrix all right to f to this point here this this point here all right transfer lines like that and so on and so forth okay so at the end of the day you end up having these lines so that is uh, a situation whereby you're given the distance of the horizontal line, the dimension of the horizontal line, all right? Okay. Okay, so what you do next is um, you connect this point with what? With a, a French curve, a flexible curve, or a broomstick. Now, there is a video I did on how to connect curves with a broomstick and a French curve, all right? Uh, you might want to uh, 
check out uh, that video, just check it out and know how to connect uh, curves. Okay, so there you have your parabola. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And also do not forget to tell your friends um, to subscribe to this channel. Let them know that amazing things are happening here. Thank you.